family what is going on welcome to the channel I am Deborah this is Prush intuitive and we are looking at your weekly energy first off guys happy birthday to anyone that is celebrating this week we just entered Gemini season so exciting my favorite person in the world has a birthday in two days my little baby boy I know it's such a fun time to celebrate I hope you feel honored and blessed and loved just for the amazing soul that you are we all need that love we all need that celebration of self it really helps us empower and find better direction moving forward so we just moved out of mercury retrograde uh, we had a new moon in taurus last week and we've thus entered gemini season uh, we're in a space where you know things are starting to move they're gaining their momentum again i feel like aries taurus season there was a little more stagnancy we were kind of working to grow and build taurus was basically mercury in retrograde which was bringing up past bs things we needed to hash out and work through and now we kind of have a little bit more fluidity in this gemini season especially depending on how you used that time right like if you worked things out, learned your lessons, regardless of, of how messy the situations were, it's going to give you that empowerment, that strength to move forward. Yeah, so I love this. This is really talking about, excuse me, noticing the signs, like paying attention. Who? excuse me, guys. Spirit speaks to us at all the time. Oh, spirit speaks to us all the time. We really just have to pay attention and tune in. It can come through numerology, repeating numbers, you know, someone says exactly what we need to hear, um, you know, even if it's a random stranger, someone we don't even know, we just get this confirmation, it like confirms whatever we were intuiting inside of ourselves. Places where um, actually, oh no, Aries got this as well. This is like the, well, <laughs> the plague doctor. It was funny. During the pandemic, this card came up so much. It's, it's sickness. It's illness. It's something that has been infiltrated, right? Um, whether that is in your environment, whether it's in your psyche, in your mind, the way you look at a situation, a person, etc., you're noticing the signs. Not always easiest said than done, right? Did I say that right? I don't know. Hopefully you get what I'm saying. But it's this value of like, sometimes we listen to the wrong advice, right? Or sometimes we feel so justified, so right in our viewpoint. But then we start seeing things trickling where it's like, are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Again, taking time to go within. It's not a bad thing. We all come into that. That's part of the nature of evolution, of growth, of evolving beyond. I love this energy for you because it's saying like, take some time to heal. You know, even if you're not physically sick, really put energy into self-love, self-care, reflection, the ways that maybe you let some of this negative stuff infiltrate your life because you have a choice about which way you are going to go and which way you're going to move forward. Um, you know, I feel like you see this situation very clearly, even if you're not 100% admitting it to yourself. Uh, you know, we can feel those senses deep within. We can have those gut instincts. Like I said, those little moments of clarity or where we receive channeled messages, however you understand that, divine inspiration, aha moments, <laughs> however you want to say that. All right, what popped up? Ooh, I love this for you. Wheel of Fortune. So change is afoot. Um, I really like the Wheel of Fortune because it is abundant in a lot of ways. You know, it's ruled by Jupiter. But it's also the wheel of karma, right? So whatever seeds you've planted, so shall you reap, you know? And you're kind of coming out on the other end of that in terms of things are moving forward. And I feel like this is why you're getting some epiphanies around whatever this illness infestation was. Yeah, so new beginnings with the fool. Being conscious, that's what I'm hearing. So... 
even if we didn't quote unquote do something right the first time around, it's using the wisdom, the knowledge that we gained from that experience in order to take new steps forward, right? The fool has a very whimsical element to it. Uh, it's a path he's never been down before. And so there is a little bit of a naivete. It's a little bit like what's on the horizon. Right now, this is talking about how you're letting your fears and emotions get the best of you. I'm really sorry, Gemini, because I know it's challenging, you know. Um, like I said, maybe you were holding on to a belief too long or listen to some bad advice, um, you know, because this is really like you're being forced to see things in a different way. You're being forced to start again, but from kind of an emotional space. It's you second guessing yourself um, or seeing the clarity of where you did, where you didn't listen to your intuition, where you didn't give yourself that credit or the benefit of the doubt. No shade, we all do it, right? You're in this point where you make a decision now, one way or the other. I love that about the Two of Swords because it is basically this value that neither decision is right or wrong. You know, I, I don't like putting things in such, um, you know, specific terms because life is so gray, as we all know. But this is basically saying that, like, Right now, you are limiting yourself, you know, and a, uh, you need to make a decision forward, right? A step has to be made. And this is really about tapping into what makes you feel happy, alive, what you actually want out of this thing. These readings are very general. I get it 100%. I don't like to get too specified because they are collective readings. As a side note, I do personal readings. So if you want to reach out, I would love to support or help you navigate through your specific situation um, in any way. So like I said, that change is getting confirmed with the death card. Death is really just cycles of um, death and rebirth. We all go through them throughout life. But for some reason, you're kind of uh, preventing your abundance right now, your happiness. Or maybe you're clinging on to this nostalgic, fantasyful thing of the past. You want it to be that way. I'm hearing that value of attachment, right? Being too attached to what was before. Kind of having a blind loyalty with that Three of Cups card. So this might be a person or a group of people that are kind of trying to um, get a certain reaction or make you think about a situation in a very specific way and how they want it to be, right? Um, Four of Swords. I feel like they don't like being challenged is what I hear. So we have three of cups, four of swords, three of wands. So this is someone who's like, I don't know, almost like keeping you waiting is what I'm hearing. They don't want to make a decision. They don't really want to move one way or another. And like I said, I feel like there is a little bit of blind loyalty because this person or situation's energy, it's not set in stone. It's not like, hey, I'm in it to win it. I am, you know, on board with Gemini. This is what we're going to do, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, and with the Eight of Cups in their blocked energy, it talks about how, you know, this decision is surrounding, like, do I want to get back into this or do I want to continue this on? Uh, I feel like their behavior is a little bit toxic. Um, yeah, I, I get that element of stringing you along, Gemini. So be really conscious, be mindful. This might be uh, someone a person, a situation, an idea that you are giving your power away to. And that's why it feels so conflicting. That's why it's hard for you to make a choice one way or another because there's hope, right? 
But again, not making a decision is also making a decision, right? It's putting us in a certain amount of turmoil and it really does actually disempower ourselves. This says to me right now that you're giving your power away. You're giving your power away to someone or something that isn't even sold on you, which seems a little bit counterintuitive, right? You're blocking uh, your instincts, your intuition with that Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay, Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups. You're dealing with someone that's less mature than you, who maybe had the best intentions, but their follow through was severely lacking. Or not really, like nothing's moving forward, it's really stagnant, right? It's someone who, um, like, I don't know, maybe you guys do want new beginnings, but there's no action happening right now around this. Why? Yeah. Yeah, because I think, I don't know, it feels like it's a situation where you're really like taking, well, you're taking your time just as much as they are. I feel like you're a little bit more committed to it. So keep that in mind. Your hopes, wants, desires are more intact. Where this person, not so much. They're a little more wishy-washy. Yeah. It could be because they have a lot going on. Sometimes, I'm, I don't know, man. I'm hearing that as excuses, though. And I feel like you are going to see this specifically throughout this week. The places where there are a lot of excuses or they aren't really like vibing on the same wavelength that you are. You really want this happiness of home, of family, abundance. And I feel like you see that with this person or situation that it's really going to add to your abundance, your material wealth, your physical stability. But they don't, I don't get the same vibe from them, unfortunately. It does look like you're going to continue to wait it out with the Seven of Coins. We don't really know how things are going to unfold with that energy. But it's tapping into, um, you know, the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. Okay. Ooh. Here's the thing. If you keep waiting it out, I'm going to pull one more clarifier on this. Yeah, there we go. Two of Pentacles. One, two, three, four on the clock. So this situation needs to evolve. And that's really what spirit is asking you. Okay. So eight of um, swords, sorry, just fell out, which is, again, places that we end up limiting ourselves in this situation. So I'm hearing this as, number one, you're not even seeing your worth and your value. If you knew what you brought to the table, uh, your decision around this would be very different. You wouldn't be waiting for this person or this situation uh, to get back to you, you know, or give you some type of commitment or thumbs up, you know, about how to move forward. And I feel like you see it, you sense it, but you don't necessarily want to acknowledge it. And that's where you end up being a little bit more, you know, like, I'll just wait, I'll just wait, I'll just wait, because eventually it's going to get better. That can be a very slippery slope, I'm sure you know, but just as that heads up. And again, this is just for this week. I love that, really connecting to your heart chakra, really connecting to your wants, your desires. We saw this with that Nine of Cups energy, wish fulfillment, not letting someone else dictate those terms and circumstances, right? Um, yeah, sometimes we, and this is a, a very uh, heavy energy right now or through October, um, uh, sorry, Pluto is in retrograde um, in Pisces. So we have this kind of uh, natural reaction to, to worship someone, give them the benefit of the doubt when, I don't know, really, you really have to kind of scrutinize that this person's situation doesn't deserve all the accolades, so to speak, that you're giving to it, you know? Taking time to reflect, Gemini, it's easier said than done, right? Like, 
But that's why it's so important for us to get clear with our heart, our desires, what we are really trying to find fulfillment in in our life. Um, otherwise, we end up in that hamster wheel, which is like never <laughs> fun for anyone, right? So just know I'm sending you all the love and blessings to whatever you're navigating through. I really appreciate your time, your energy, support to the channel. Big thumbs up. If it resonated, drop comments below. Let's build and grow the community. Lots of love and blessings to you this week, Gemini. Mm -hmm.